welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I appreciate you for following the series on prophecy for Nigeria towards the new Nigeria. Today, I have a new prophecy for you. As you listen, the, I want you to spend your time to pray for this nation. Today's prophecy is that there is going to be rigging in 2023 presidential election. The ruling party is going to rig in collaboration with the INEC. This is what I'm seeing. This is the prophecy that is coming to me from the Lord. And we need to watch and pray. You're going to see it, but the 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 good aspect of it is that the Lord said it will be a shamble, it will be useless. It's going to be useless because it's going to be discovered and there will be public disgrace. I've told you all what I told you by the grace of God is coming to pass. I told you that the PDP presidential ambition will be will crash land. That it will be visible a month to the election. You are going to see it. It will come to pass. I told you that Wiki is going to suffocate for in PDP. Even if he goes to APC, he will be downgraded. It's going to come to pass. I told you that there's judgment upon politicians. You're going to see politicians running mad. You're going to begin to display mad reactions, mad actions. You will see it. You will know that this person is actually talking like a human being, but is already mad because that's the word of the Lord that the word gave to me. The Lord said he will harden the heart of this political giant. It's going to harden their heart. It's going to give them a reprobate mind. Remember the word that the Lord gave me. He's going to give them a reprobate mind. I've said it about five months ago that God is going to give to this political giant reprobate mind. That's what we have in the God gave me an anchor word, Romans chapter 1, verse 28. He said, And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. You begin to see them do those things which are not convenient. So when they are doing those things which are not convenient, it's because they refuse the counsel of the Lord. And God has decided to give them a reprobate mind. From the, from the realm of the spirit, I see that these people are desperate for the presidential ambition. And the Lord told me, say, Tunubu will begin to fall after the election. You will see a downfall. For now, it is Fatiku to fall. The second person that is going to fall, Tunubu, you are going to see him fall after the election. He will use God. We allow him to use all his connection. He will allow him to, to be strong and to go through. But at the end of the tunnel, which I told you that it will be mystery. It will be mystery for him. This is what the Lord told me. It will be mystery for him. That is what the Lord told me. He will begin to fall. All the walls around him will begin to fall after the election. You will see this. It will come to pass. So this is a plot which is already cooking, which we are not. We don't see but but with the eye of the spirit the lord has revealed to me that they are planning to rig and they are going to rig the lord told me keep telling me say they will rig in this election this is not a prophecy of whether it will happen or not it's going to come to pass there's going to be rigging and that is why i told you that tunumbu will be shakingly declared president i saw that in a vision very clear it was vivid it was vivid Tunubu was in a close tide with the government official, and the collation of the figures were called, and Pitobi I became red. Last time I told you, I said Pitobi will go to court. You will see it, it will come to pass. It's going to go to court. Because the they they cause what the message I'm getting, they are actually messages that are not supposed to be for Nigeria. Like I said, sin is a reproach to every nation. We have studied the other time that seed is a reproach. We read it in the book of Proverbs to every nation. Nation that forget God, Bible says they shall be turned to hell. We are in hell, suffering because of our sin. And yet some people are still desperate for power, desperate for position. The Lord said that, but we get close to the corridor of power, but we will not reach there. The word of the Lord must come to pass. 
He said, we get close to the corridor of power, but we will not reach there. The Lord opened my eyes to see manipulation in the INEC. And I see officials being manipulated to rig the election. And there were manipulations that is about to take place. And the, Lord, the funny thing is that the Lord said, they will be discovered. Remember the last broadcast I gave you that they will be discovered. No, the second to the last. They will be discovered. They will be discovered. It's going to come to pass. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me to speak that whatever manipulation that is going to take place in the INEC, it will be discovered. It will come to pass. There will be a public disgrace for those who have been rigging before. So if you are rigging, the best thing for you to do is to repent because judgment is going to come upon some of you that are rigging. The Lord said he will kill some of you that are rigging. The Lord said he will expose those rigging. He's going to explode and give them public disgrace. You will see public disgrace. You are going to see it in this 2023 election. If you have not seen before, if you have not believe, if you don't believe in God before, this time around you will believe. You are going to see there will be public disgrace. It will come to pass. There will be manipulation of machines. Whatever they want to do in the eye neck, I want to pray now. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Whatever they are planned to do in eye neck, it will fail. All the manipulation of our machines, the manipulation of the server, the manipulation of the card, um, the uh, um, um, whatever they are using, the, the voters registration. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. I command open disgrace for them. Open disgrace for any official that want to collect bribe and rig. I command open disgrace. Open disgrace in the name that is above all name. In the name of Jesus, I command open disgrace. In the name of Jesus. I command open disgrace. There will be open disgrace. This nation has suffered enough. Enough is enough of the suffering of this nation. We see people begging, and yet you want to rig. You are in an office where you are paid. Government is paying you, and you want to rig. You are going to see the hand of God. The judgment of God is upon the wicked. The Bible says the wicked shall not go unpunished shall not go upon it. Those planning to rig election, you will see the hand of God. The anger of God is upon the wicked in this nation. God said he will judge politicians. Even the politicians that are going to influence them. The Lord told me that these officials will be under pressure. These INEC officials will be under pressure. And if some of the APC, we want to be on, on, we want to put them under pressure to rig election. This will not happen. Because it is the hand of the Lord is upon this nation. Let me tell you, the presidential ambition of both APC and PDP is going to fail. Forget about it. I'm not against any party. I'm only considering the will of God. Because let the will of God be done. Let the will of God be done. Now, we are going to put such light. I want to encourage Nigeria when the time comes. Put such light on whoever is going to be the shaman of INEC. Because I saw a vision, a close tie between this chairman and the, the presidential aspirant for the ruling party. I saw a close tie in a vision. So everyone to put their hand together and pray and pray and pray for this nation. Because the evil must come to an end. There must be an end to evil. I see a, a situation where there is pressure on officials to do the wrong thing. Any official that do wrong things on that course, because the hand of God is upon this nation. I am warning you, if you do such, you are on that course. The course of the Lord will be upon you. If you don't remove your hand, whatever you see, you take it. This is not just a prophecy for prophecy's sake. This is a declarative word from the heart of God. This is from the mind of God. When I saw the manipulation of I saw where they were manipulating computers, manipulating, and they were running Elta Scatter. They were running Elta Scatter. God has decided in this election to raise men, even in INEC, who will say, Come what me. I will not defy myself with the king's meat. I will not defy myself. God is going to raise Shadrach. Meshach and Abednego in the INEC. God will raise officials in the INEC. These officials, listen to me, oh, this thing is going to come to pass. 
these officials are going to expose the secret, the rigging in the working place. They are going to expose it. So if you are there, listen to me if you are there, and you have the mind to rig, you better change. Because judgment is awaiting you. I see a, situ a situation where there is going to be uprising. And the people will say, we have seen the secret. We have seen the secret. By the time by the time the rigging is done and the figures are collated and brought out, you will see people coming out to, to tell you that those figures are wrong and they will give evidence. You are going to see a situation where evidences will be given concerning the rigging. This rigging is not the one that we do in those days and nothing happened. This rigging is going to be backed up with evidence that there was a rigging. That's what the Lord keep telling me, and I'm telling you it will come to pass. It's going to be backed up with evidence. I've told you before that Obi is going to win. But in the process of manipulation and rigging, you are going to, you are going to see that Tunubu will be shakingly declared president. And later, this thing will be revoked. It will be revoked. It's going to be reversed. It's, that is the beginning of his downpour. Fall. The beginning of his downfall. You are going to see him fall. He's going to fall in a big way. I'm just saying this. This is the mind of the Lord. Going to fall in a big way. This fall is not going to be a small fall. The moment such is done, then you will see revolt from the youth. Then you will know that Nigeria have youth. It's unfortunate that they don't know that the one the answers is different from this case. This case, the hand of the Lord is upon the nation. This case, the hand of the Lord is upon us. It is our set time. Remember, I told you that 2023 is God's set time. And this is a mystery. It's a mystery. I mean, mystery from heaven. So since 2023 is God's set time, the hand of the Lord is going to back up the youth this time. You're going to see youth fight. They are going to fight vehemently. They are going to revolt vehemently. You're going to see serious resistance from the youth. You are going to see the mass, masses seriously re resisting such rigging and they will reject such results. Such results will be rejected. That's why I told you that bad will not reach there. It will only struggle. At the end of the old tunnel, the end of the tunnel, Obi will be declared president of Nigeria. I have told you all these stories and I don't want to begin to go back. I have told you there will be a setup of a, a committee, which I call interim government. I told you that military will intervene because there will be revolution. These things are going to come to pass. These things wouldn't have come to pass. There is no need for this thing. Even when we pray, this thing can easily be averted. But our people are desperate. Remember when Pharaoh was desperate, God began to add in his heart. The Lord said, I will add in the heart of this political giant. I will add in the heart. They will become desperate. So the desperation of bad is from also being contributed by the Lord because he has given him the grace has caught, he has caught the grace there is grace for every man after election his grace will be over after election we are going to see the earth health of bad deteriorating we are going to see terrible downfall you are going to see him weep, pain. Even if he's not physical, he's going to be looking so sorrowful. I've told you that misery are waiting. This thing is going to come to pass. I wish we can repent and forget about this presidential ambition. I wish so. If you were to be somebody that I am close to and say, Daddy, forget about this presidential ambition. The truth is bitter because I see pain at the end. There will be rigging, I've told you. I will not hide anything from you. This is the mind of God. The Lord keep telling me and telling me and telling me. I have to speak the word, the mind of God. I cannot hide it. I have to speak 
the mind of God. This is the mind of God. There will be rigging. And this rigging will be coming from some of the ruling party. There will be rigging concerning the presidential ambition of the ruling party. There is going to be rigging. There is going to be close tie. There is going to be pressure on INEC. There is going to be manipulation in INEC. But I have prayed a prayer. So whoever is going to do that is on that course. God is going to fight such a person. So if you see somebody die as a result of disobedience, well, we don't pray for that. But for peace to reign in the nation, for God to move this nation to the next level, God can do whatever he wishes to do. The masses are going to revolt. This rigging, one good aspect of it is that the rigging will be discovered. God has given the power to the people. This era, in this era, it's good for you to discover dispensation. God has given the power to the people. God has taken the power out from our government. Our government have defied the word of God. They have violated. When I say our government, most of them have violated the law of God. And God has taken the power from them. And he has given the power to the people. In fact, if you don't know, I want you to open your eyes, your spiritual eyes. I pray today that your spiritual eyes will open. That you will begin to see them. You will begin to see that the power is in the hands of the people. How are the mighty falling? Mighty men are going to fall in this 2023. You will see it. It will come to pass. God has given the power to the people. All your attempt to rig will be futile. The Lord said it. All your attempt to rig. All the attempt of the ruling party to make sure presidency goes to the ruling party. It will be futile. It will be a useless effort. Because at the end of the whole thing, it will be futile. You are going to say it. These things are going to come to pass. Whatever attempt to, to manipulate the voter's registration or voter's register, Whatever attempt to manipulate the server of the INEC, whatever attempt to manipulate the uh, INEC machines, whatever attempt to manipulate the laptop and the computer or whatever, you are going to fail because this is the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord shall stand. Lord, your word shall stand. You have told me in the prophecy that there will be rigging. You say, but you will expose the rigging. Oh, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus, expose the rigging. Expose the rigging. Expose the rigging. Let Nigeria be free in the name of Jesus. I command Nigeria be free in the name of Jesus. I command Nigeria be free in the name of Jesus. I command Nigeria be free, be loose. From the shackles of bondage, be loose from the powers of darkness, be loose from the powers of darkness. Whoever is holding Nigeria at this age, I command you to fall in the name of Jesus. Fall in the name of Jesus. Fall in the name of Jesus. We cast down every evil imaginations in the heart of men, wherever they are operating from. That evil imagination, I pull you down. That satanic powers, I pull you down. I command you, go down in Jesus' name. Let thy kingdom come to our nation. Let thy, our nation be transformed, O Lord. O Lord, remember the cry of your people. Remember the cry of your people. Deliver your people. Set your people free. Set your people free. Set your people free. Powers that want to read, let the power be disgraced. Expose and disgrace. Expose according to your word. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. God has said it to come to pass. Let us watch and pray. God can change things. If only we can be holy. Our country refused to be holy and the Lord keep ringing the bell that there will be revolution. Let's keep praying. Watch, pray, watch and pray. Don't give up. This is our Jerusalem. This nation will be transformed into a new Nigeria. There's a bright light. I'm seeing it in the realm of the spirit. I don't know if you are there watching me. Bright light upon Nigeria. Nigeria is going to be transformed. You are going to see a new Nigeria. It will come to pass. That the rigging will not succeed. It will be a futile effort. This is the word of the Lord. 
and so shall it be in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.